Hello viewers, it's The Mindful Man, reading another chapter from my book Catastrophe, which is on Amazon KDP. It was the only place where she could get any peace, and Kate lay on the bed with Snowy on her tummy, and she tried to remember a time when she was miserable. Snowy was unusually quiet. She didn't like being shouted at, and Kate stroked Snowy's stomach, and she began to feel better. And with the wagging of Snowy's tail, she could tell that she did too. They lay there for hours and Kate could see the streetlights sparkling in the newly fallen snow. It looked very beautiful. Kate fell asleep watching the fat snowflakes coming down like teardrops. It was like God was having a massive pillow fight, she thought, and they had burst and covered the whole world with its contents. When Kate woke, she was surprised that it was still morning, that it was morning. The curtains were still open and the lamps were burning brightly. Snowy was purring at her feet, and she felt as comfortable as a hot water bottle, thought Kate. Eventually Kate willed herself out of her too comfy duvet, and she made her way downstairs. When Mum was washing up and Jack was busy reading the morning papers as usual. It gives him something to moan about, thought Kate, truthfully. Keep that moggy away from me, he said, as he rustled the papers with irritation. She's not a moggy, she's a lovely cat, thought Kate, wounded but she didn't say anything. The last thing she wanted was another row. Jack was the manager in a well-known retail store, which Kate couldn't bother to remember. But the way he acted, you would think he was the head of some multinational company like NASA, thought Kate. It was comical. He was dressed in his black suit and pinstripe shirt and tie, and as usual, Kate admitted that he looked smart, but she didn't like the way that he looked down on her and other people who did ordinary things like a real dad who was a taxi driver. He acted like he was superior to them, but he wasn't half the man her dad was, thought Kate bitterly, as she buttered her toast and watched as Snowy ate his chunks of meat incredibly quickly. What's that horrible smell, said Jack. It's cat meat, said Kate. It smells, smells more like cat sick, said Jack, ruffling his newspaper angrily. I'm sick of you, thought Kate. She couldn't wait for him to drive off to work. Leave her alone, said Mary. She loves that cat. It's a nuisance, answered Jack. She needs to grow up and get a job. She's not a little girl any more. I could have a place for her in my clothing section, he said. Even a Saturday job would do her good, he said forcefully. Kate groaned inwardly. She always did when he seemed to be making sense. That's not a bad idea, love, said Mary as she sat at the table with a steaming cup of coffee. Who would look after Snowy, Kate said tearfully. We could always sell him, said Jack, <laughs> cruelly. Oh, said Mum, that's not nice. I'm only joking, said Jack, but Kate knew that he wasn't. That's settled then, he said. I'll arrange everything for you, he said before he finished his coffee, and then he marched off out of the house with military precision. Hope you like this chapter. Please sub me.